it is a Okay, bye. My plan is to make candy dice they look like normal dice and use them normally through sessions until one day I roll an at one and then I just eat the dice to the horror of my friends. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. I'm always so flattered when bees buzz around my face. I'm sorry, miss, I'm not a flower, but it's very sweet that you thought I was. No state proposal. Mega juices. Ah, so that's how they got Dunkin' Donuts to California. It all makes sense now. People who think this planet was created for humans to be ours are so wild to me. 70% of the planet's surface is undrinkable, uninhabitable death water that sharks love. How is that a human-centric design? The Earth was created for various types of crabs. What's even the point of using a spoon for soup? Why don't we always just drink it? Maybe the spoon is there to keep us humble, to meet ourselves, so we do not get lost in passion of soup. Hey, Copernicus, it's just soup. I just heard a Minecraft door sound in my head. That was your brain leaving. <laughs> Got him. Hey, remember that forward cooking horror story? Guess what? <laughs> There's a follow up. So let's recap. Just came up with a really good forward cooking horror story, but I don't know if you guys are ready for it. Two cups vanilla extract. Okay, but what did they cook after they drank two cups of vanilla extract? Wow! Never seen someone invent a whole new type of sin in just 14 works before! Good... Good job! Pokemon trainer that shouts, GET HIS ASS! every time they order their Pokemon to attack. That's just... That's just if Pokemon, if it was shot in New York City, and he was Youngster Joey, except Youngster Joey is also Joey from Yu-Gi-Oh! But that's Brooke. But, you know what? Doesn't matter. The joke still stands. And he put, put Joey's face on Youngster Joey's face, okay? There. Boom. Did it. Avatar AU where Aang wakes up like three days before Sozin's Comet returns and he has to speedrun the entire series. Oh my god, please say more! So the South Pole and North Pole exist in the same map file, so if you break out of bound, you can go from one to the other without having to travel the world. And Zuko's redemption stat and hair stat are tied to the same variable. So if you just put the right wig on him, he becomes automatically redeemed. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Why I am unworthy of forgiveness. You have 1,263 open tabs. How do you live like that? How is your computer not fucking dead? Okay, but all I've done today is sleep. <laughs> I woke up at noon, ate lasagna. <laughs> <laughs> We're back to sleep right after. Method actor Garfield cosplayer. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up! I just found out OSHA official deactivated. I, I don't even want to commit OSHA violations anymore. Not without my boy OSHA. This is literally Joker's relationship with Batman. I hate that I can agree with this addition to my post. <laughs> I'm at Tumblr University, and they told me they never even heard of your URL. <laughs> Shut up, straight boyfriend. Hey, watch out. I heard there's an ape on the loose and they could uh, be anywhere. Wait, <laughs> he's right there. Run! A lot of pets will ignore you, but only a cat will follow you from room to room and check your lines of vision to make absolutely certain that you can see them ignoring you. Well, here's a fun fact. Cats actually have very good peripheral vision and do a lot of checking things out with it. Full frontal staring into your face is, for them, an aggressive statement. Hence why they do that a lot when they're trying to make you do stuff, like feed them or play with them. If a cat sits with you but at an angle and won't meet your gaze, they're not ignoring you at all. They're hanging out. They're having a chill bro time. If you want to smile at your cat, look at them till they see you, then give a slow blink. This is a cat smile. If a cat only glances at you to give you a blink and then looks away, this is a warm greeting, like, hey there, buddy. Be polite right back at them, and don't seek out or hold sustained eye contact in friendly, casual situations. Hmm. Cat Etiquette 101. I googled world's funniest joke, and this was it. <clears throat> Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson were going camping. 
They pitched their tent under the stars and went to sleep. Sometime in the middle of the night, Holmes woke up Watson and said, Watson, look up at the sky and tell me what you see. Watson replied, well, I see millions and millions of stars. Holmes said, and what do you deduce from that? Watson replied, well, if there are millions of stars, and even if a few of those have planets, it's quite likely there are some planets like Earth out there. And if there are a few planets like Earth out there, there might also be life. And Holmes said, Watson, you idiot, it means that someone stole our tent. <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> that's good i like that one post that be like if i were a monster that had to eat people i would just eat horrible people are so absurd to me how often do you see known criminals on the street billionaires out for a nightly stroll around town effectively fucking never if I have to drag myself to the grocery store, you think it's gonna be any easier for me to hunt Bezos and company every time my stomach growls? I can't bother to plan meals more than a day in advance. How am I gonna perform whole ass detective work to confirm someone's a serial killer before I eat them? Y'all got that much time in your hands? Planning five course meals every night of the week? Don't make me laugh. Eat a pedestrian and tragically wrestle with guilt like the rest of us, idiot. Coming this fall, Ripley's Believe It or Die. And later at night, Ripley's Just Go Fuck Yourself. Probably bad RPG idea. You give all your dice a little smooch before you roll them, so they'll give you a natural 20 out of love. I love you, dice. Beautiful dice. Good dice. Mwah. Rolls. Nat one. You mother- All right. Let's just set the record straight here, okay? I get asked... Most occasions, if I will start doing readings for Reddit and Facebook and Twitter, because most people assume Tumblr is dead, which is not. I'm pretty sure that thing is going to live until the end of time, which means I might too. But that's not the point. I don't do Twitter. I mean, I'm on Twitter, but I don't voice late night Twitter posts. It's not my brand. But there might be someone out there who does. Someone who's wise and brave beyond his years who edits the most weird videos on the internet that are most likely mine, has a really, really awesome voice, even more awesome than mine, and might be editing this video right now. Andy, you wouldn't have to know anyone who does that, right? <laughs> Balloons are so weird, like, Happy birthday! Here's the plastic sack of my breath. God. Thanks, I hate it. To the person who stole my Microsoft Office license, I'm gonna find you. You have my word. <laughs> Pre-nap me. Gosh, I'm just a little sleepy. I could use me a little nappy nap. Post-nap me. Why? Why do I exist in this world? <laughs> How do I know what is real? What is the truth? I'm so thirsty! And the average cumulus cloud weighs as much as 2,500 donkeys. Yeah, well, how much does a donkey weigh? Um, about, uh, 1 in 2,500 of a typical cumulus cloud. With this watermelon, I shall rule the world! <laughs> Would you take me to the beach? <laughs> Looks like you're already on the beach, you silly boo! This girl is camping with her boyfriend in Byron Bay, and who turns up shirtless? I want to move to Australia. I mean, look at him. He's so slim now. How do people just randomly find shirtless Chris Hemsworth in the wild? You've never been to Australia in summer, have you? Oh, yeah. We got free-range Hemsworth worming all over the place. They're actually getting to be a real problem. There's a small nest of them living in the roof of my in-law's garage. I keep eating their gravelias. <laughs> the hell is a gravelia? Covers are important people! Covers are people! And apparently neither are exclamation marks, but we'll, we'll ignore that, shall we? Not even God can prepare you for what you're about to see. What? What is it? Behold! Baby legs! Okay, mothers? If your kid refuses to carry the trash out to the bin, just tell them you had to carry trash for nine months. Ooh! 
A game show where a toddler has to choose between a check for a million dollars or a small basket filled with around $8.14 of dollar store toys. And in the corner of the TV, you can see their parents in the locked soundproof room watching from a screen and screaming the whole time. I need this show in my life right now. My talent is identifying birds. Oh, yeah? Okay. What's this one then? Yep, yep, nope, that one right there. That's a bird. In primary school, we had a creative writing assignment where we had to write about a character in a new, strange situation. And I wrote about a squid that was somehow teleported from the ocean to the forest floor and slowly choked to death for two pages. And I'll never quite forget my teacher's face because it turns out she wanted this new school is scary. I hope I make friends. And not a graphic description of a squid dying. Well, you can't please some people. I still did pass because I did fulfill the assignment, but I just saw her pursing her lips like, hmm, all right, all right, this kid's, uh, this kid's going on a watch list. Okay. Okay, 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 guys, think, 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 think about this. Someone in this world has consumed more mayonnaise than anyone else currently alive, and they don't even know it. Poor bastards. I was at the zoo the other day, and there was this fucking goose trying to act like a fucking flamingo. It was a peaceful day in flamingo world, and you are an imposter goose. You know what? Being a serial killer is much like being a comedian. In that you either hit it big and get your own Netflix special, or you spend eternity popping up on shitty podcasts. Huh. That was a hell of a Venn diagram tweet. Can't wait for the final boss battle of Duolingo when you fight the 50-foot owl armed with nothing but your wits, a sword, and your shaky grasp of verb conjugations. Oh my god, Duolingo. I just got it. Holy shit! You know what? Technically... You can go the rest of your life without eating or drinking. What the fuck? My favorite thing to do when someone asks me to perform a simple task is to say no while doing it. Someone, hey, can I borrow a pen? Me getting a bag of pens out. Absolutely not, perish! Might I interest you in some... sushi? Okay, soon realize, um, Andy's doing stuff too. If you, if you like his edits, you'll like his voice too. His voice is good. Go go to this post right here in the description. Pin comment too, because I know some of you do not read the description. I'm, watch, I'm looking at you. I'm looking at you right now. Go to that page. Check out his stuff. You'll love it. All right, we're done here with this collaboration. Andy, make the video explode. <laughs> Won't form a coherent thought. Just know I have a lot to say and several things to be enraged about. I can't do everything for you, so fill in the blanks. Warning, your storage is almost full at 18%. Okay, can someone explain how 18% is almost full? You ever fantasize about sharing fruit or someone washing your hair for you and you're like, Oh, I am just a little pack animal. My love language is indeed monkey instincts. Monkey. Monkey. Being a macro-organism is so stressful. I want to know what my cells are doing. I don't like how unsupervised they are. My cells govern themselves. I'm just mostly a figurehead. My body is a constitutional monarchy, and I am its powerless queen. Bohemian Rhapsody, We Will Rock You, Somebody to Love, all hit singles and all the direct product of a band that was formed when an astrophysicist and a dentistry major found a new friend in an art college, who then went to recruit a fourth member from the electronic school. Based on this alliance, I propose the rift in society between arts and STEM students was fabricated to keep us separated so as to dilute our true power, and fabricated by who, you may ask? The business major. The only member of society who reaps no reward from art and science, and thus must weaken us so as to stay ahead. In this essay, I will... Where... Where's the essay, OP? Life hack. If someone makes a racist slash sexist joke, say, with total seriousness, I don't get it, can you please explain it? Then watch them crash and 
burn. <laughs> it's so weird that Daisy Ridley is eyeballing that Lara Croft role in the Tomb Raider reboot. Like, sure, Star Wars was really big, but you can't just be a beloved space hero in one franchise and also be a big name as some kind of combat archaeologist. Who's ever doubled up like that? <laughs> Call out post! You! You're a good person and you treat yourself unfairly. A lot of people are reblogging this post with, no, I'm trash, and I just want to say, listen, you little problematic fuck. You have more value than you realize. Fucking love yourself, goddammit! Abba waited until our darkest moments, when the world needed them most, and then they returned. Avatar. <gasps> My sister is making mac and cheese on the other side of the house. <laughs> you have a nose? Yeah. Wow. Small world. Oh, thinking about girl wizards again. Not witches. Witches are responsible and ecologically knowledgeable and stuff like that. Wizards are like, <laughs> I'm gonna do indivisible magics. <laughs> yeah, they do be like that. I'm watching Planet Earth, and there's this one small scene where the most crowned seal ever swims past. And i just like to thank David Attenborough for bringing us this good, good orb seal. Bless you. I just don't understand how this happened, but here's a picture of a lemon from my backyard. What the ever-loving fuck? You know, you know what they say, when life gives you lemons... Make sacrifices! Dear rat, for hours you have chewed through my ethernet cable, limiting me from accessing my Tumblr blog. But now, I finally have you trapped. Hey, whoa, 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 you can't keep chewing. I need to post this trap. When you need to pay respects. What? Where's the time signature? Are you telling me you need a time signature to play one note for a joke post? And for all you non-music people here, allow me to clarify this joke for you. That's the note F. Mona Lisa. And her possum. Oh, this isn't real. You can't just post fake stuff on the internet. I am so upset because I want this to be real so bad. Well, it can be real if you believe and or help me break into the Louvre. Someday I want to see a show that does the no filler episodes thing from the opposite direction. Just a whole season worth of low stakes character pieces that seem to move the overall story absolutely nowhere. Then episode 26 pulls all the triggers at once and this massive Rube Goldberg machine of a plot the show's been quietly setting up for the background the whole time hits you like a truck. Now, I'm no expert on this, but I'm pretty sure there's two shows out there that have done this. Andy put up a picture of the amazing world of Gumball and Rick and Morty. I'm just saying. Just saying. Probably more so Gumball. My favorite self-care tip is to pretend you're a demon inhabiting a human's body and you gotta look after it. Treat it right, because these things are weak as fuck, man, and you gotta protect your host. You know... That might actually work. Is the sugar a seasoning? I did not come scrolling through Tumblr at 4 a.m. to be assaulted with this. <sighs> I don't... I don't know, man. I always laugh when somebody declares James Potter on the verge of expulsion for his pranks and fic. Because Malfoy was literally a Death Eater trying to kill the Headmaster. And Dumbledore was like, Hey, let's just see if we can gently glide him away from this. I'm pretty sure the only thing that gets you expelled at Hogwarts is if you actually have straight up murdered someone. <clears throat> Tom Riddle straight up murdered someone. And Dumbledore just keeps an annoyingly close eye on him. So no, that didn't even work either. Fun fact! It's coming. I'm already here! Get away! This is where I watch my parents die, Raphael. Hey, yo, check out this cool frog. He's gesturing at himself. I I, I remembered Raphael was a turtle. Teenage Mutant Ninja Frogs. Frog power. Frogs. Frog. Count it off. One, two, three, four. Frogs. 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 Frogs.
frogs. I don't know what's funnier. Pets with stereotypical human names like Brian and Michaela, or pets with completely ridiculous names like Hamburger and Concrete. Counterpoint. Both. One of each. These are my cats, Switchboard and Gary. Enough of this, this character is my son. This character is my nephew. Not my responsibility, but I am taking him out for lunch and buying him Hot Wheels. This is just when your friends have an OC that you really love. That's your nephew. Andy, put up a picture of Amy's Ethan. Behold, this is my nephew, which is also weird because I voice his dad, so also technically still my son. What have I done? Let me slip into something more comfortable. Downscales into 4080p. This is just me taking off my glasses. I'm reminded almost daily about how glad I am that Redditors remain out of positions of power and decision making. Far more upsetting, though, is the fact that the world seems to be run by Twitter users. Sometimes I think, thank God, Tumblr follower count is hidden. People over Twitter let the numbers go to their heads so much. Also, Tumblr numbers mean nothing considering the amount of bot followers. Even funnier when someone on Tumblr expects you to treat them as royalty for having a lot of followers like they are not also a Tumblr user. If you brag about your follower count here, it's like announcing your own clown shoe size. One time I dreamt my therapist was following me around at work, constantly interrupting me, trying to get me to talk to her. But how did that make you feel? Undertale of you where everything is the same except everyone swears like a sailor. Isn't that just underfell? I'm pretty sure that's just underfell. All right, I'm saying it. Barry B. Benson is a Jerry Seinfeld Mary Sue self-insert. Even as a kid, I got the feeling Barry got the human girl because the director was the main character. Fuck! Recent studies have shown that in order to make room for learning spells, wizards will willingly give up the part of their brain where they learn from the consequences of their actions. <laughs> Magic make brain go brr. I think a lot about gaining weight as a form of healing. Character gets a little bit fat after a life of hardships. Me. Groundbreaking. Incredible. Life-changing. Kyle Gallen, I like your moxie. This is good for my brain. Thank you. Ties a balloon to Snom. Look, you're flying. I have once again taken to the... Hang on. This is too high. Get me down. Get me down. Okay, I'm just going to say it. <sighs> Uptown Funk would have made it into the Shrek soundtrack. That's... That's the truest statement I ever read. Just found out there are two bones in my shin and two shins on my body. That's four bones. Fuck this shit. Dude, that's not even the worst of it. Go look up what your ribs are made of. Okay, I will, but I'm warning you, if it's bones, I'm gonna be so pissed off. God damn it! A name is a spell you cast on your child when they're born. I cast Get Bullied in Middle School. Power word. Melvin. Today, Papa John's called my Starbucks and... <laughs> Starbucks? Starbucks! Anyway. <clears throat> Today, Papa John's called my Starbucks and they were like, Are you guys interested in a trade? And five Frappuccinos later, they gave us two large pizzas and a large order of cheesy bread. Okay, but this seems adorable to me. This is what my coffee shop does with the subway next door. One large latte equals one six-inch sandwich. We trade at noon and 7 p.m. This is how the world should run. How fucked up would it be if you jumped in a ball pit and it was just tomatoes painted different colors? Dash con too, I've got an idea for you. Seeing teens call 20-somethings old as a gotcha is so funny to me. Like, you are priming yourself for one hell of an existential crisis in five years. I laugh at 30. Oh God, I'm fucking old as fuck now. Fuck! My blog aesthetic doesn't have a name. It's just me walking around picking up pebbles like, Ooh, this one's pretty. Ooh, this one's pretty. Ooh, this one's pretty. There should be a heart key on the keyboard. You're absolutely right. Andy, put up the heart key button. Now spam it. Spam this ending full of hearts. Just do it. Do it. Hit it like it's the muffin button. Just do it. Oh my God, look at all these hearts. It's taking over the video. I would laugh if you just did nothing. Human, what is this thing your medical books refer to as adrenaline? Oh, that. 
It's a drug our body produces and injects into our bloodstream whenever we're in danger or pain. And what does it do? Speeds up our everything and makes us feel good. Everything makes so much sense now! You created a horror movie called Alien. Yeah. That is damn well offensive. No wonder no other life forms want to contact you. It wasn't even accurate! So how long do you humans live? Uh, it depends on a lot of factors. Oldest person ever made it to 122 years. And the others? For most of our history, you were dead by 50. Did you change your genetics? No. Was it a decrease in... Yeah, it was mostly a decrease in diseases. Oh. We also spend a third of our lives unconscious. What? It's our favorite part. Why do you choose to live in such inhospitable climates? Remind me how you got to this planet? Well, we just built a ship that allowed us to travel through the vacuum of space. And how many of your kind died before you were able to safely travel through space? I see your point. Human, what is spam? Spam the meat, spam the junk mail, or spam the Monty Python's Flying Circus sketch? I beg your pardon? They're all related. Surprise me. Human, you seem tense. What is the matter? I'm worried about my cousin. He's going to have surgery later this week. Oh, how awful for him. But what is the purpose for this procedure? Well, he's getting a kidney transplant. He's been needing it for a while, but now he's finally got a donor. Hold on. Transplant? The donor? Yeah, one of his kidneys is being replaced. Ah, cybernetic enhancement. C crude, but effective. Cybernetic? <laughs> no, he's getting an actual kidney. Uh, an actual kidney? Oh, I hadn't realized humans were capable of creating one. Perhaps you are more advanced than I had initially assumed. No, we don't create it either. It came from another person. Wait, what? You, well, you see, if you're an organ donor, your organs will be used to help other people when you die. You mean you tell me that humans willingly have their organs harvested after death to be used as spare parts? I, yeah, I guess so. And this actually works. Kind of? Right, okay. I see what's going on here. Let's all joyfully vocalize at the alien. Nice try, human. Oh, spirits, you're serious. What are these sour cream and onion chips I found in your pantry? Oh, those are basically sliced potatoes that we fry to a crisp. Those in particular are just flavored with a couple of other foods. Fascinating. May I try some? Sure, but I do warn you, though, they're highly addictive. They're good, right? I finally see humanity's desire to steal. So, you feed yeast organisms sugar and then bake them alive in temperatures high enough to kill someone and then eat them? Yes! So you explain that humans chased after things in the beginning until they're too tired and kill them. But another human informed me that is called teaming. Can you explain this? Oh, teaming is when two people on opposite teams team up to kill everyone. So you actively betray others and work with them and kill others? Yes. Barbarians, I know. Good, you understand. Human, why are you pressing buttons on your computer? You're just looking at a picture. Oh, no, this is a video game. It's a form of entertainment that humans use to enjoy themselves. What are you enjoying then? It's called Minecraft. Here, let me show you. Five months later. Uh, dude, Nerva, where are you? I beat the game and built the machine that functioned as one of my species' war fleets. Would you like to see? Nice. Human, I recently learned of a video game franchise called Destroy All Humans. Y yeah? I am disappointed that you believe that extraterrestrial life would behave in such a matter. Don't look up Doom then. You're not gonna like it. Human, why are you staring at that photograph? And what are those circular objects in your hand? Uh, it's my wife. And these are rings that are used to signify our love for each other is lasting. So why hold them both? Well, my wife, Sarah, died a few years ago due to a head-on collision. And I hold on to these rings because she was special to me. You humans are truly a confusing but fascinating species. And those were my final notes on humanity. It's been quite 
probably a couple of years, but I decided it was time for me to go. I think I've learned more than enough about them. And besides, I ran into a few good friends that are not of that world either. I think they'll keep it in good hands as well. Thank you all for listening, and I apologize that this is the last of our conversations with each other. But, as humans say, don't be sad that it's gone. Be happy that it happened. Thank you all for being here. And being the weird, absurd, heartwarming space orcs that you are.